How can you sneak in more widgets? Let me show you six ways I do daily in my real life as a Japanese mom of two boys. This video is for all of you who want to eat and live healthy. So let's begin with the tip number one. Mix into the rice. My family goes through a lot of rice. Rice is something kids are very familiar with, so there are higher chances to eat more veggies once it's mixed into the rice. For example, into the Japanese style vegetable mixed rice. I always put carrot, burdock, onion, and even mushrooms, which my kids hate. Since the rice and veggies soak up all the good umami flavor from the corn stock, it encourages them to eat a lot more than a given vegetable on its own. If you are not familiar with the comb stock, you can change it to your favorite stock like vegetable stock or chicken stock. Then tweak the veggies depending on the season. In summertime, maybe add corn, tomato, and edamame. And in fall or winter, you can add something more hearty like sweet potatoes. I have a couple recipes you might want to check it out all in the description box below. And tip number two, make soups. When I was feeding baby food, soup with loads of veggies was our go-to dish. I just cook up some vegetable in the big pot, then save some small portion for the baby before I season it. Then after that, I can just add whatever seasoning I want for adults. If it's miso soup, I add soup stock and miso paste. Other days would be just a salt, mirin, and soy sauce to make a Japanese clear soup. If they don't take these chunk of veggies, I'm just gonna puree everything and add some soy milk, bouillon cubes, and miso to make a creamy potage. In a way, you can get them to eat all nutrients. These are days when I really don't feel like cooking. I just serve some bowls of rice along with the soups, and I feel good about feeding kids. Good thing about the soup is you can always make a batch ahead of time and store it in the freezer for coming days. The list goes on to the curry. If you're someone who loves curry, try adding more veggies and beans into your curry. Tomato, celery, green peppers, these all have a pretty potent and unique flavor which some people can tolerate, but once you add into the curry, it magically disappears and melts into the curry. Moreover, it creates a depth into the taste. Tip number three, find your go-to dressings. As I mentioned in the meal prep video, it's a game changer to stock up your favorite dressings. One of my favorite dressings is made of apple, carrot, onion, tofu, miso, tahini, and garlic. As you see, the dressing itself is already made with healthy sources. It's packed with the flavor as well as the nutrients dense. My kids love to enjoy it with the cucumber and the corn, and even if they don't take other vegetables like tomatoes and broccoli, I'm okay with it because the dressing also imparts the nutrients. I used to have a meal drama with kids, but once I found a way to get them more veggies without having them noticing it, our dinner time is a lot more peaceful now. My humble advice is that if you are having a decision fatigue, which dressing you to go, stack up three different dressing you always lean on. Then explore more when you have more time. Of course, I have a couple dressing ideas in the description box below for you. And speaking of salad, you might be left with a pile of vegetable scraps like stem of broccoli, green parts of leek, skin of potatoes. I save those and make a soup stock. I told you in the previous video my dad passed away due to the pancreas cancer. When my dad found the cancer, my mom started to make these vegetable stocks every day for him as the doctor advised her to cure his body internally. Since then, I have tried to do it for my family as well. This is tip number four. See vegetables as a whole. It's so hard to explain it in English, but those scraps you usually toss it away. Revalue it before you garbage it. Does it make sense? I hope you understand what I mean. Tip number five put it into the Japanese savory pancake, also known as okonomiyaki in Japanese. Okonomiyaki refers to add whatever you want, so I follow the name of the dish. Standard okonomiyaki always contains shredded cabbage, but I also add some onion, Chinese cabbage, chives, ginger, and lots more. It's the same. It's a simple mindset. Think of the ways to add more veggies. 
like how can you make it more colorful? Maybe adding a handful of spring onion at the end? This goes back to the philosophy my mom taught me, which I showed in the healthy habits video that is, go by the color when you plan the meal. If you haven't watched my 11th healthy habits video, I welcome you to watch it after this video. I personally don't follow the recipe specifically. If the recipe calls for only onion and carrot, I'll take a look at my fridge to see what else can go with this recipe in my fridge. This will also contribute to less food wasting. It doesn't only apply to okonomiyaki, it's my ritual way of thinking whenever I cook any. Again, it's such a simple mind shift but it's so important to keep it in your mind. Get creative and be adventurous. The last one is to wash and chop veggies ahead of time and store in the fridge. It does lose some crunchiness and freshness but it's way better than wasting them or not eating them at all. If the vegetables are still crunchy, I would use them for salad or dip into the sauce, but if it becomes salt looking, I would use it for soups or stews or mix into the rice just like I told you in the tip number one. And lastly, always remember to indulge yourself if it's needed to nourish your soul once in a while. My family takes out some burgers and weekend. For me, it's an opportunity to take myself away from the kitchen and rest myself. And for kids, it's just a fun and something special to enjoy only on the weekend. We need that moment, right? We are not perfect, at least my family is not. And there you have it. All the tips are based on my experience being a Japanese mom over the past five years. It's only something I personally subscribe to and incorporate in my life. I'm sure many of you have more ideas and tips and tricks, so I welcome you to share in the comment section below so that many of you ask and appreciate that. I am so happy to see this community is growing and helping each other towards a healthy lifestyle. That's it for the cooking tips. But if you, get, if you guys can stay longer, that would be great because I'm going to show you my life update in Tokyo. If not, thank you very much for hanging out with me this far and now let's begin! Yeah. 